come back at the end and make it interesting, but there's no way to beat around it. Conceded five goals, lost to the bottom, ostensibly worst side in the A-League. What went wrong tonight? Well, everything defensively. I think you have to be honest and uh, analyse every little segment of the game defensively. Weren't good enough. We lost our battles, I think. From the moment they, we can see the first goal, which is probably their first attack, um, there's one or two heads dropped, which is not very good. So that's something I need to figure out. Uh, set pieces uh, has been a problem this year for us. That is just a simple mentality. Uh, we conceded three corners again today. So something needs to change there, and it will change. Um, but other than that, it's defending is not. Right, you've got to want to put your body on the line. You've got to be willing to put your body on the line. You've got to make contact. You've got to expect it to go into dangerous areas. And we didn't do any of that tonight. Was it just when you say like you're losing the battles, did your side make, underestimate Melbourne victory? Just no, no, I don't think so. You know, I, I said this was a very dangerous game for us because, you know, whenever they, uh, a manager loses his job and another manager steps in, Sometimes players are happy, sad, you know, but the, there's a, the shackles sometimes are off, which shouldn't be the case at all. And it was a very dangerous game. They've, yes, they've had some disappointing results, but they've got really, really good players. And that was my words to them before the game. Uh, obviously, we didn't adhere to that in the box when we're defending, especially. Carl, I know you only took over, you know, not that long before the season yeah. started, but... We're well over halfway through, and you say set pieces have been a problem all season. Yeah. After having her half the season, why are you still in this position? Is it yeah, no. It's a good question. Players aren't listening to you, or they're yeah. just not capable? Well, what? I think, you know, you, you sometimes you look within, and we have to look at, one, our setup. We have to, two, two look at, you know, are we, are we doing enough with that? We do. We are. And, and we do look at things like that. Do you put become zonal? Do you become man to man? You know, when we have done zonal at times, we've got caught, and when we've done man to man, we've got caught. So then you look at personnel, and if you analyse the goals that we conceded, each of the goals from set pieces, it's all been different. And we'll have to address that because, as you said, that was the difference in the game today. Not the play between both boxes. Um, it was probably the, the details in both boxes. Well, it probably, I mean, I thought the first 20 minutes looked like a training drill for you lot. I mean, you had that much possession and that much yeah. of the ball. It's dropped. Even though you look like you're in complete well, control. Well, we, we, are, we are trying to implement a way of playing. I think you saw that in the first half. You know, we, we come in at half-time 3-1 down. But we had 60 or 70 odd percent of the ball. And we had so many chances. You know, their first chance, they, they score. And credit to them, you know, we concede. Suddenly, you're, you're, you're on your back foot or your backs are against the wall. You know, that's happened too many times. You know, is, is that a lack of concentration? Is that a lack of quality? Well, it's, it's not a lack of quality because we're defending. It's a lack of concentration. Uh, it's little details within that. Again, between both boxes, every week I say the same. We are very good. It's in both boxes where we need to tidy up and we need to tidy up quickly because, as you said, set pieces cost us today. You know, on the other side of it, we, we've had numerous shots. Um, sorry. Um, okay. You're still in the top six, but... Yeah. It's been a long time without a win for your yeah. side, and you have played more games than any other side in the A-League. Are you feeling the pressure now with the sides behind you looming? No, we can concentrate on our business today. It's very, very disappointing we didn't take care of our own business. If teams below us win or teams above us win, then we will drop out the top six. You have to be honest with that, and that is reality, and you have to accept that. Is there pressure? There's pressure on every team. There's pressure when you wake up every morning. So, yes, there will be pressure on us, and rightly so. We're a big football club. As Melbourne Victory is a big football club, we know. Um, and you have to embrace it. You can't be fearful of it. You know, if you're going to be in professional sports at any level, you have to come to work. The commitment, the commitment has to be 100%, and it has to hurt when you lose. Because if it doesn't hurt when you lose, there's something wrong. Yeah. How do you get the boys up? I'm um, expecting um, passion in New Jersey. Yeah. How do you get the boys up? Do you change that game? Well, the, I shouldn't need to get them up for the derby game. We know that. Yes, we've uh, gone a period of games by, by not winning. Um, we know that. The boys know that. Um, you know, when you're 5-1 down away from home, 
it's easy to bow your heads and go under. We didn't. And I've said this numerous times this year. If you're going to take any positives out of a negative situation, and the negative situation is we lost a game of football today. Relevant of whether they were bottom of the table or top of the table, they, they've got good players. Not acceptable for us. We know that. But we nearly clawed ourselves back and probably should have in the end. Did we deserve it based upon the way we defended? No, we didn't. But we could have and we probably should have. Um, so that will be the message this week. We don't need to get ourselves up for a derby game. If you haven't got pride wearing that jersey, you shouldn't wear that jersey. It's as simple as that. Do you still expect this team to play final, Tom? That's the aim, yes. I've got full belief in this team. I still think we can play finals. There's a lot of games. We need to get out of this funk pretty quickly. We know that. We've drawn too many games uh, and we've lost too many recently as well. So early on in the season, we were picking up points but missing opportunities to win games of football. That happened prior to these last two defeats. Um, and if you drop points, whether it's losing or drawing, teams below you will catch you. And that's the reality of this A-League. Great spectacle to watch, probably, for a fan. Nine goals or penalty, yellow, loads of yellow cards. Nightmare for coaches. Um, we've seen a couple of signings recently around the A-League. Adam responded today at Sydney is a very big one. Are you looking to bring in any reinforcements for the run line? We're always looking. I said last week that we will always try and look. Um, whether we will or not will obviously be a, a separate question. But you know, I'll, I'll concentrate on the work I've got ahead with this, boys. We've got a great game to look forward to next week. We will be disappointed today, and rightly so. Uh, but when we get back uh, over the weekend, we'll be back ready to work on Monday. And we've got to pick ourselves up for a massive derby game.